Hi everybody, how's it going? I'm here today to bring you a demo of this Yamaha TRBX304. Now, quickly, before we get started, I do just want to let you know that I am being paid to make this video, but Yamaha have asked me to make as honest a review as possible, so that's what they're going to get. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. <laughs> So we have a mahogany body. This is a five piece maple and mahogany neck with a bolt on construction and it's got a lovely 24 fret rosewood fingerboard. As soon as I opened the box I could tell how well this base is made and as soon as I put it in my hands I could tell how carefully it had been finished. There's not a single sharp fret end anywhere up and down the neck. The setup was really good, the only thing I had to do is slightly lower the action because that's just what I prefer. And after looking on the website I can tell you that A this finish is called factory blue and B it looks a lot better in person than it does on the photos on the website. I hope it's coming across well in this video. As for pickups, we've got two of Yamaha's own humbuckers, complete with handy grooves to rest your thumb in. Uh, and the electronic system is a two band active EQ, and the knobs are volume, pickup blend, bass, and treble boost and cut. And this is a five way EQ selector switch. Now, I do feel like it's also worth mentioning that this bass is always active, so always carry a spare 9 volt battery wherever you go with it. So going back to this five-way switch, um, it is very useful and I do like all of the sounds on board, but I do have some thoughts about it. So you can probably see there's a plastic label on the front here that you'll be greeted with if you check the bass out in a shop. And the five positions are labeled like this from top to bottom. We've got slap, pick, flat, finger, and solo. And as I said, even though all of the sounds are very nice and very useful, I'm not really sure that the the label matches up to the best way of using the sound, if that makes sense. Basically, I'm not sure the suggested techniques are the best way of using the sounds. However, a thought I've had about this is that maybe Yamaha are just trying to come up with a more interesting name for each of the positions rather than like position one, position two, etc. Probably something to just try and get people more interested. Plus, if you don't agree with the labeling, it's quite an easy fix. You just take the label off. <laughs> but particularly the slap setting for me, I think is uh, better suited to reggae or dub sort of things. And now in this next clip, hopefully you'll see what I mean. <laughs> So alongside that, I've also found that 
some of the switch positions are better suited to certain pickups. But again, that's not really a negative at all because to be honest, it's part of the fun of getting to know the instrument. And of course, it's just personal preference. Like I said before, they're all objectively good sounds, all very usable, so what's not to love? I'll show you what I mean in this next clip. We are in the pick setting on the switch. First of all, we're gonna be using both pickups, but then switch to just the neck pickup, which I prefer. Oh, and of course, do let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around until the end of my video. My final thoughts on this bass are that it's really good value for money, being in the 450 quid sort of range. Uh, it would be great for an intermediate player, it, it totally has that sort of second or third bass sort of vibe about it. That being said, I'm confident I could turn up to any gig or studio session and be able to find an appropriate sound pretty easily. But there you have it, that was the Yamaha TRBX304. Um, thank you very much for watching again and uh, if you want more videos like this don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but that's me done so I will see you next time bye